What is up, everybody? Chris Jardine here, a.k.a. Snaggle J, Director of Live Content Services for Out of the Park Baseball, back with another episode of our flagship program this week in Perfect Team. It is episode number 79, July 2nd, 2020. For all of you, including myself, who celebrated Canada Day yesterday, happy Canada Day. For all of you who will be celebrating the Independence Day, July 4th weekend, enjoy that as well. Be safe. Be safe out there. Treat each other kindly and have a great holiday weekend and wear your mask and social distance and all of that good stuff. Um, We have a great show ahead tonight. We have 14 brand new cards that will be going into packs, six of which make up the July Historical Players of the Month set, eight of which um, are going to be added as part of the Team of the Decades Collection Missions filler stuff. Plus, we have the last four rewards for the Team of the Decade Missions as well. They are pretty good. Save the best for last, chat. You guys know I always save the best for last. So we're going to see what kind of what kind of special editions we have up the sleeve tonight as we go through. Uh, as we go through. Um, guys, just before we get started, I do want to I want to take a little bit of a serious tone for a second. Um I've read a lot of tweets today about tragedy in the gaming community. Um, a whole lot of people in different communities that I don't know. Um, but it kind of dawned on me after talking to a few people that, you know, um, people use Twitch as as a sort of escape. And I just want everybody out there to know that life is full of ups and downs. Um, that's what life is. It's a roller coaster. and if ever you're feeling down, I, I I strongly urge people talk to somebody, whether it be a friend, a family member, your dog, your cat, or professional help. Um, talk it out. Um, I've seen, I was in a stream earlier today. I won't say whose it was, and the news broke about uh, you know about Rectal's taking his own life. And the whole rest of the day, it I just kind of thought, you know, like that could have been someone when we were streaming and a member of our community. And I hope it never, ever comes to that. So I just want you guys to know out there, if you're, if you're having trouble, one should always talk to somebody and two, it's, it's going to get better. Life is full of ups and downs. Um, you know, we're not going to get into the whole specifics of, of what happened and all that stuff, but I just, I really wanted to, to let you guys know, you know what guys, even though like you guys know, especially for you guys who are in the discord, I mean, my DMS are always open. If, if I'm the person you can talk to, I'm the person you can talk to. I will be there for, for people. I just want you guys to know that there, there's always a better way. There's always somebody to talk to, whether it be personal acquaintance, family, or professional help. And I suggest that you take that seriously and talk it out, okay? I'm not usually the person to get all serious and and tone, but you know, I just want you guys to know there's always a way. Now, let's turn it back around. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun with some new cards, chat. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Let's see. Am I going to spoil something? Uh, uh. Oh, we're good. Oh, by the way, hey, did you guys forget? The game is still on sale. 50% off, chat. The sale, the sale goes until July 9th on Steam, on the otpdevelops.com, on the Mac App Store. Check it out. Um. Check it out for sure. Uh, if if you uh, most of you guys, I'm assuming most of you guys who are here probably already have it. But hey, tell a friend, tell a family member, 
tell grandma, maybe grandma wants to get into baseball, right? You never know. Now's a good time to jump in. All right, let's kick it off with our June Historical Players of the Month. Again, um, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Um, not sure what we're going to do with the possibility of baseball returning. I'm thinking we might just stick with historical players of the month and then maybe, um, and then maybe add in, um, regular players of the month. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But again, these cards are available in packs now. Um, if you guys want to check them out, let's start it off. First up, we have Hideki Matsui, 2003 Hideki Matsui. Uh, that was his rookie season, I believe. Um, 394, 484, 683, 629 RBIs, 11 doubles, 41 hits in the month, 78 contacts, 71 gap power, 74 power overall. Uh, 55 I, 66 avoid Ks. Uh, no speed. Godzilla. Godzilla not known for the speed. He's not a 79. I knew, I knew that next year would be upset. Everybody loves more Yankees, man. The whole stream tonight, actually, there is 18 cards on stream tonight. They're all Yankees. Every one of them probably was a Yankee at one time uh, or another. So Matsui, boom, in the game. Next up, 1970 Wayne Simpson. Wayne Simpson was a collection reward of some sort last year or a card. He was actually pretty good. Um, 1970, really the only notable season of his career. In the month of June, 1970, went 5-0, 2 2 3 48 and a third innings pitch, 43K, 75 stuff, steady move, 52 control, fastball, sinker, changeup, 90 stamina, probably might get a little bit of a stuff bump in the uh, in the old bullpen. I know, with that, I'm out. All Yankees cards? Mm. That's not, by the way, that's not the last Yankee card you're going to see tonight. Next year, 79 for sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Every, every card next year is going to be a 79. Next up, we have Dick Stewart. Dick Stewart. 427, 500, 764, 10 homers, 22 RBIs, and 38 hits in the month of June 1959 for the Pirates. I love that Pirates logo, by the way. Such a good. Yeah, I know. My hat color is all messed up. It's because I'm wearing my biscuits hat. And in the yellow kind of the yellow kind of clashes a little bit. I'm rolling with it. It's not too bad when I'm back here. As long as I don't get too close. If I get closer to the camera, it gets a lot worse. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it for now. 80 contact, 49 gap power, 99 power, 111 power against the old lefties. Lefty killer. That's about it. <laughs> That's pretty bad defense. Next up we have Chris Sale. 2015 Chris Sale. Where are my White Sox? Where are my White Sox fans at? Two and two with a 183 ERA, 44 and a third innings pitch, 75 strikeouts, and a 0.812. Uh, why not put DH on his card graphic? Because the National League didn't have DHs in the 50s. Uh, 105 stuff, 64 movement, 80 control, fastball slider, changeup splitter. I bet you that would be a nice little bullpen card. Bet you his stuff will probably jump to 110 or so. Somebody will um somebody will probably uh somebody will probably figure that out for me. What the stuff bump would be. I think it might go to like 111. But Chris Sale, player of the month, Chris Sale impact. Now these last two players of the month have some pretty notable stats alongside their player of the month performances. First up, we have Sammy Sosa, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys, um, if you guys checked out uh, the Thirty for Thirty documentary that was on a few weeks ago, Sammy Sosa, the summer of '98, he was a big part of it. Twenty home runs in the month of June, 1998. No other player has ever hit twenty. Home runs in a month. 88 contact, 54 gap power, 125 power overall. 53I, 48 avoid Ks, 54 speed, a little bit of defense in um, 
right field as well. Again, Sosa slash 298, 331, 842 with 20 homers and 40 RBIs. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we have a man who was known for striking people out. He struck people out over four different decades, but never in his career did he have more strikeouts than in the month of June in the year 1977, and that is Nolan Ryan. Two and three with a 2.61 ERA and 57 and a third innings pitch at 87 strikeouts. Nolan never had more than 87 strikeouts in a month. In fact, 87 strikeouts is the third most strikeouts in a month in the history of baseball, dwarfed only by Ed Walsh, and I don't remember who the second place guy was, but I believe it was a uh, dead ball era guy as well. 132 stuff, 81 movement, 57 control, fastball, curveball, circle change. How many people are looking at this and thinking, stopper? I know I am. I know I am. Very, very nice. Pretty even on the splits, too, although the movement significantly higher against righties. Uh, but the stuff actually higher against lefties. Uh, for sure, that's going to be nice. So there you have it, folks. That is our June historical players. Of the month. Like I said, uh, we haven't 100% decided what we're going to do with the return of baseball. For sure, um, for sure, we're going to do July historical players of the month. And then in August, we're going to figure out what's going on if baseball comes back and what's going to happen um, up in there. So we're definitely going to have July historical players of the month. It's going to happen. I've already been working on them and planning them out. Um, so look forward to those. But these are the June historical players of the month. Nolan Ryan, Chris Sale, Wayne Simpson, Sammy Sosa, Hideki Matsui, and Dick Stewart. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring the hype up a notch. Bobby Bonilla tournament. I'm Bob. Listen, I, I, I do enough things to cause rich anxiety in the run of a day. What hat am I wearing? Montgomery Biscuits. Biscuit with a face. It's a little hard to see because the yellow kind of clashes with the green screen a little bit, but it's the giveaway code tonight. It's the same as it always is. It just hasn't started yet. Whoa. Nice. Team of the decade, number four. This is the final set of Team of the Decade collection missions. Again, remember, any of the special edition cards you see, the missions themselves do not go live until tomorrow morning around 10 a.m. Eastern time. We'll make sure to get it out there. We'll tweet it out, put it in the Discord, put it on the forums when they're all live and stuff. Any of the pullable cards you see in this are available in packs now. Um, there's eight of them all together. Six of them are pre-1900s cards. And there's some pretty good ones. There's some pretty good. This whole thing, listen, first of all, the team of the decade has been a lot of fun. I'm glad we're doing it. It's now going to be over. And we're on to the next phase of missions two weeks from tonight, which is uh, face of the franchise, which is going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get started. So we're going to go from the 20s back. So we do have a packable card in the 20s section. It's 1925. It's Willie Cam. 47 contact, 67 gap power, 55 power, 79 I-50 avoid Ks. Uh, a little bit left-handed heavy, obviously. A uh, little bit of defense at third base as well. Not the worst. Um, Not the worst. Not the best. Not the worst. Not the best. But. If you pull one of these sweet Willy cams, you'll be able to lock them in for the MVP of the 20s. What the heck? And that is 1923 Babe Ruth. Who else did you think was going to be the MVP of the decade for the 1920s? 102 contact, 103 gap power, 134 power overall, 118 I, 58 avoid case, 53 speed, and he a little, little bit of defense too. 88 
Uh, 88 rating in left field, 73 rating in right field with the 72 range, 93 air. Not the greatest arm, 51. Not the not the best of arms, but dandy, dandy, dandy little card. You look at those. Uh, you got a little bit more power. And splits are balanced. Two points higher contact against righties. Nine points higher gap power against righties. Four point higher power against lefties. And ten points higher eye against lefties. So there you go. Very, very, very solid looking Mr. Ruth. So again, MVP of the decade for the 1920s, the babe. Let's go to the 1910s. We have one card coming in here as well, and it is 1912 third baseman Larry Gardner from the Boston Red Sox. 66 contact, 60 gap power, 61 power, 57 I. 49 avoid K's with 64 speed and again some pr- acceptable um ratings uh can that Ruth pitch no I don't think so but I'll tell you what while we're talking while 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 I'm doing this I'll load it up I don't think you can Ruth wasn't pitching in the in 1923 I'm pretty sure but I will look it up as we're um as we're talking about. So, yeah, so Larry Gardner, again, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, very, very right hand. Can we get a Babe Ruth pitcher card? We did. We had a Babe Ruth pitcher card last year, right? There was a Babe Ruth pitcher card last year, I think, if I'm, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, pretty sure there was. Somebody, yeah, he was a. He was, he was, there definitely was. One moment, chat. Patience. Patience, chat. No, the 1923 Ruth cannot pitch. I mean, he can, but not very well. (laughs) Yeah, I was going to say, I looked it up. Thanks, Matt. Matt, right here when you need him. So, you'll be able to get this Larry Gardner, and you'll be able to cash him in for 1912 Big Train Walter Johnson. 102 stuff, 91 movement, 89 control, fastball, curveball, changeup, and 83 power. You got to love that power on the Big Train with the 92 stamina as well. A little bit of defense at his position. Again, 83 power. Whoo, baby. The 100 big train. Now, we don't have any new cards. Oh, sorry, chat. i going to stretch my back out a little bit here. That's a nice big train. I like it. A lot of people at the upper tiers, I think, are going to probably deploy this Walter in the bullpen. Um, but, yeah, I think a team of any level will be able to find somewhere for him to go, for sure. Um, next up is the 1900s. We do not have... A any new packed cards in the 1900s, but we do have the MVP of the decade for the 1900s, which I teased in the Discord, and almost everybody guessed who it was. And it is Honus Wagner, 1904 Honus Wagner to be exact, 102 contact, 117 gap power, 87 power, 77 I. And 60 avoid Ks, 89 speed, 98 stealing, 100 base running. And look at that defense at shortstop, 108 rating at shortstop with 100 range, 96 air, and 95 arm, as well as the 94 turn double play. Um, A lot of people are looking at this card and thinking, huh, third base, third base. A lot of people thinking third base. That defense definitely going to play at third base. Pretty balanced with the splits, too. Um, everything is, tilts a little bit in the lefty favor, but only by two to three points. So a pretty balanced card there for sure. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get to the fun part, and that is the pre-1900s. Um, the the uh, pre-1900s, they're going to be fun because we have six... Brand new 
pre-1900s cards that are available in packs now. And one of them, I'm going to have to apologize for one of them, but I will when we get there. First up, we have John Clarkson, peak John Clarkson, a 92 diamond, 91 stuff, 75 movement, 85 control, fastball, curveball, changeup combination a dandy little card here probably should get that new age braves logo removed from there wrote a note already for myself don't worry chat i'm on top of it kelly clarkson great singer american idol my favorite show back in those days uh, <laughs> yeah no uh right hand heavy on the splits here big time 97 uh stuff 80 movement and 87 control against righties Oh, uh, there were the Boston Braves, or who knows where they were back then. A lot, Some of the older cards, sometimes it'll pull the wrong logos, but I usually make a list of the IDs, and I'll get the guys to fix them up. And then they'll just redeploy it, uh, redeploy it out to the masses. So we'll get those fixed up. Don't you guys worry. There's a few. And if we didn't get them fixed up, somebody would DM me about it about three seconds. Um, for sure. You gonna need all six of them? Absolutely not. Absolutely won't need them all for uh, for the pre nineteen hundreds. No chance. Next up, we have ninety three overall left fielder. It's peak Jim O'Rourke. I gotta dig my head out of the way for this one, chat. Uh, ninety five contact, ninety eight gap power, seventy six power overall, sixty eight eye, and ninety five. Avoid K's. You got the 89 speed, the 101 stealing, and the 100 base running as well. You got position familiarity at catcher, first base, third base, left field, center field, right field. You got the outfield ratings here behind me with the 46 range, the 87 error, and the 59 iron because his primary is in left field. But again, he's gonna he's gonna play a lot of different spots. It'll be interesting to see. Um interesting to see what the peripheral ratings looks like on him when people start pulling him. Uh, lean before in the green barrel go through my noggin. Uh, it'd be kind of cool. Can he pitch? I guess not. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have 94 overall diamond left fielder Harry Stobie. 84 contact, 87 gap power, 76 power, 78 I, 80 avoid case, 100 speed. First base, left field, center field, right field, some pretty solid outfield defense here as well. With the 62 range, 87 error, and 77 arm. Again, a good contact, good power, good avoid Ks, good speed, a solid, solid all around, um, solid, solid all around card here for the Hattie Stoby. Speed weak. I know the 100 is just not good enough. Got to run the bases fast too. Maybe get a bunt down. Got to get a bunt down too, man. You can't, can't be, especially in the sack situation. Can't imagine sack bunting was a big thing back in 1892. Imagine 1892, guys. Oh, Hattie! Hattie, get the bunt down, Hattie! Just saying. Probably didn't, uh, probably didn't happen a whole lot. Next up, we've got Peak Pud Galvin. 96 overall diamond. 85 stuff, 86 movement, 89 control, fastball, sinker, change up, the 92 stamina, the 94 pitcher rating as well. Pud Galvin, a lot of people have, would really loved Pud Calvin, Pud Galvin in Perfect Team 20. And he is back here in Perfect Team 21. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. This is number four. Perfect. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that means, well, let's see if we can do it. Will it start? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's giveaway is now open. Exclamation point ticket in the chat. Now, folks, the bot will no longer return a confirmation. We have disabled that feature. So please enter it once and once only. Um, people who spam it multiple times will be removed from the giveaway moving forward um, to try to keep the chat clean. If you type exclamation point ticket in and you do it right, you are in. Don't you worry about it. Already up over 150 people in it. Woo, baby. And guys, make sure if you're new to the stream, make sure you guys hit that follow button up at the top of the screen 
or if you're watching on your mobile device, just give your screen a little tap, hit that heart in the upper right hand corner or wherever it shows up. Um, and follow the channel. When we started the stream tonight, we were 29 followers away from 4,000, which is amazing, amazing, amazing. That's so much, so much support from you guys. You can't win if you type exclamation point talk it. It's a good point. I don't know, Mathaus. I don't know if there's something to do that or not. <laughs> Exclamation point, Tebow. Definitely doesn't get you in. All right, next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have Peak Jack Glasscock. 86 contact, 85 gap power, 75 power, 55 I, 102. Avoid Ks. 91 speed, 93 stealing, 100 base running. With the 113 defense at shortstop, 99 range, 110 error, 99 arm, 99 turn, double play. Solid, solid, solid card. Now, before I reveal the last one, I feel like I need to explain myself. Because I did say that when we did the community request battle, that the cards that lost would be thrown into the abyss forever. And then I said we were going to save them for a future tournament release. But when we got looking at the pre-1800s, you can't really you can't really have the pre-1800s without Tim Keefe. So I thought, okay, I'm going to make this one exception, and we're going to release the, the Tim Keefe card because, you know, we're, we're all about trying to tell the story of the baseball and, and the decades. So here you go. So here is the card you missed out on a few weeks ago or a month ago, and it is Tim Keefe. 112 stuff, 85 movement, 80 control, fastball, curveball, and a 120 grade changeup pre-1800s baseball. Listen, guys, I'm 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 thinking way back. By the way, speaking of for any Conan, any old school Conan O'Brien fans out there, any old school, and remember when he played old time baseball? It was like 1867 baseball. Does anybody else remember that skit? Probably the greatest Conan O'Brien skit he's ever done. If you've never seen the Conan O'Brien skit of him playing old time baseball, go look it up on YouTube when the stream is over. Cause it's the best thing he's ever done. 93 stamina and 84, uh, defense rating on the Tim keep as well. So all of these cards are possibilities to complete the final re reward mission that we're going to reveal It's pre 1800s. And the reward is cap Anson. 99 overall die, 106 contact, 95 gap power, 92 power, 93 I, 97 avoid Ks, 74 speed, 74 stealing. Uh, you get the 77 bunt for hit as well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it's not 100. Uh, you got the 84 rating at first base, 69 at third base, 84 range, 63 air, 64 arm, 65. Uh, Turn double play. A lot of blue. Lots of blue on the left-hand side, ladies and gentlemen. So there you have it. That completes the team of the decade mission programs. Uh, they will be going uh, live again. The missions themselves will be going live tomorrow morning um, at, yeah, yeah, tomorrow morning. Um, guys, I'm not getting into this. I'm, I'm not getting into Cap Anson stuff. Okay. The rewards were decided six months ago. And to be honest, I did my research. It's one of those things, folks, you're, it's, I'm not doing it as a slight or anything like that. 
uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time, the missions will go live. You'll see over there on the screen, there is 25 new collection missions. That is because there is 13 uh, missions that pay out various packs as rewards as well. Um, the little more of the quick hitter. Um, am I drinking a tab? No, it's a bubbly. Um, so yeah, so there is going to be some, there's 13, um, there's 13 pack based missions as well, which are, I think we're going to continue. I think some of them are the name game again, uh, using last names. I can't remember what they all are now. Um, guys, if you want to enter the giveaway, your time is running out exclamation point ticket in the chat. If you have not already, uh, we're going to draw the winner here in just a minute or two. Um, so make sure you guys get your, get your entries in. You cannot win if you are not in. We're going to give out 10,000 perfect points times three. Um, so make sure you get in for sure. Um, so the mission should be live around 10 a.m. Like I said, we'll 10 a.m. Eastern. Sorry, forget about time zones. Um, mission should be live around 10 a.m. Eastern. We'll put it in all the different areas when they're live to uh, forums, social media, Twitter, uh, face, not Facebook. Um, uh discord as well so and yes the pack and any of the cards that you saw that are pack based cards those are in packs now um those are in packs now uh TD Kaiser we did a set like that last year when they did the Japan series at the beginning of the year uh, this year we did for our like out of country series, we did the, um, the Mexican series. We did a set, a content set for that. Uh, and we did the, was the Dominican series? No, that was a different, we did the Mexican series, um, in late, um, late April, I think it was. Mm -mm. Yeah, we did the Japanese set last year. It had Ichiro and a bunch of other guys. Dice K. Oh, guys who went the other way. That's not a terrible idea. That's not a terrible idea. That's not a terrible idea. So anyways, guys, that brings to an end uh, the Team of the Decade collection missions. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed putting them together. I enjoyed doing them. I enjoyed seeing the wide gamut of reactions to them. Uh, guys, we're going to be closing the giveaway in 10 seconds. Exclamation point ticket. Last chance. Last chance to get in to one of the 225 people who are in the giveaway right now. Five, four, three, two. One, the giveaway is closed. The giveaway is closed. Uh, again, if you win the giveaway, if you happen to be one of the people who get their name drawn here in a second, um, you can either whisper us right here on Twitch or DM me in the Discord with your username in the proper capitalization and your team name. And I will get you those points lickety split when the stream uh, is over. Uh, congratulations to Travelberries, Hunterific86, and I see Dragon13. Congratulations, Travelberries, Hunterific86, Nice Dragon13. You guys have won 10,000 perfect points each. Again, make sure you either whisper me or whisper the O to B developments. I will post a message in the chat so you guys can click on it to whisper. You can whisper the O to be development Twitch account, or you can DM me in the Discord, uh, and I will get you those points as soon as the stream is over. Thank you guys so much for participating, bringing all the hype. Uh, we've got, man, we have got, ladies and gentlemen, we've got some action-packed streams coming up. Um, next week, we will be doing an all-star game-themed content set, and the second set in the Boys of Summer series. So we're going to have 21 brand new cards next week. The week after that, 
we've got a we gotta listen the week after that you guys might not you guys might know i i I'm a little disappointed because the week after that, I was supposed to be in Los Angeles at the All-Star Game at Dodger Stadium. Um, Players of the Month for June was at the beginning of the stream. The collections go live the same time they go live every second Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern. Um, I'm a little disappointed because, you know, two weeks from now, I, w- I was going to be at Dodger Stadium watching the All-Star game. But that being said, we've got a little something special planned uh, around that time with us. It's kind of an idea that came up. Uh, I think you know it's going to be a celebration of referencing baseball. It's a good way to put it. And then two weeks from tonight, we will kick off the faces of the franchise missions. And let me tell you, these rewards are out of this world. Some of these face of the franchise cards are chef's kiss. And I can't wait to show them off to you two weeks from tonight. Um, So again, the missions, the last uh, four uh, team of the decade rewards and all 25 of the collection missions will go live tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Also, we've got the summer sale going on until July 9th, 50% off. We've got the June historical players of the month. Where is my recap screen? It is right here. Boom. There it is. We got the sale. I can turn the ticker text off. And then we've got the players of the month cards that are available in packs now. Nolan Ryan, Chris Sale, Wayne Simpson, David Sosa, Hideki Matsui, and Dick Stewart. And again, like I said, the collection missions will go live tomorrow morning, but the eight Cards we released are available in packs now, so get ripping. And again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys give it a follow-up at the top of the screen. Guys, Rich is going to be here in about 25 minutes' time with his weekly perfect team playoff preparation or middle of the pack, middling, whatever it is that he's doing this week. Um, So make sure you get on. If you guys want to go grab a drink, grab a snack, take the dog for a walk, stretch your legs a little bit, come on back at 10 p.m. Eastern. Rich is going to be here doing some more perfect team stuff, maybe trying to pull some of these cool new cards that we just revealed. Guys, again, make sure you follow the channel here, twist.tv slash OTP developments. Follow us all around the internet as well, facebook.com slash OTP baseball, twitter.com slash, whoa, 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 whoa. Rich is the best. At least wait until I end the stream before you start talking about how Rich is the best. I know Rich is the best. But I'm in the, when I'm in, it hurts my ego in the middle of the outro, when you know when, when when I see Rich is like, wait till I'm gone. We all know Rich is the best, but you know, like like let it breathe for a few minutes. <laughs> Twitter.com slash OTB baseball and Twitter.com slash OTB perfect team. Uh, make sure you follow us in the Discord, discord.gg slash OOTP, the forums at forums.otpdevelopments.com. And hit us up on the gram, Instagram.com. If you guys want to see the hat, if you guys want to see the hat, you got to go to Instagram.com slash OOTP perfect team because I posted a video there earlier today wearing the hat. And the only place you can see this hat from now on is on Instagram at Instagram.com slash OOTP perfect team. Get on over there and check it out. Guys, as always, I am Chris Jardine, a.k.a. Snaggle J, Director of Live Content Services for Out of the Park Baseball. And until next time, keep swinging for the fences.